Hello everyone, Teacher Teresa here from VIP Kid, Go Go Kid and Class Talk. Today I wanted to talk to you about silent letters. Some students struggle with this, others find it comes to them very easily. But for those who struggle, here's what I do. I will ask first, which letters are silent and see if they know. And for students who don't, I will circle this and I will say, shh, silent K, knit. Hmm. What's the silent letter in knife? And usually they will be able to then circle it and I can get knife out of the student. If not, then I will, again, I'll circle it and I'll cross it out and I will underline shh, silent K, knife. And then usually, most of the slides only have two or three words of each letter, you know, each silent blend on them. So if there's no more on the slide, then I'll add another one just to see if they can get it. And I would have written this in a different, in blue, but I'm not picking up my blue pen just for you. So for my student, I would have written it. I like using a different color for the actual vocab word and then for making that visual of crossing it out. It's just another way to help the student visualize. And I will, actually I'm gonna, <laughs> sorry. I forgot to ask. <laughs> I would have asked that. Where's the silent letter? Can you circle the silent letter? And usually by having done two with the teacher, they can get this and they'll cross it off. Can you say this word? Good, knocked, excellent. Now some students will also then say knock ed. So if they make that mistake, then I'll correct that too. Some get it, but just to note that if, you are, if you're using the word knocked, sometimes students will make a mistake with that as well. So then I will ask, what's the silent letter? And if they don't know, again, I'm gonna circle that B. I'm gonna underline this, crumb. Good. What's the silent letter? Hopefully by now we understand and we're getting this. Can you say this word? Comb, very good. And if they needed help here, again, I'm gonna give them another one and I would write it in blue, but I'm using red now because I don't want to come up with another. So, crumb, comb. Um, I can't think of any. <laughs> hmm. Crumb, comb. Climb. What's the silent letter? Can you circle the silent letter? And then the student will get that. Great, awesome. Can you say this word? Climb, excellent, great job. And then sometimes if you're reading along in passages, often you might see these silent letters. It's a great time to practice them in level three and four especially, and make sure that your student is reinforcing that skill that they are learning in the grammar portions of these lessons. So I hope this helps somebody. That's just one way to teach this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.